Alrighty guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are here for another Saturday wild card. And today as we kind of hinted at in yesterday's video. Yes. Um, where we were talking about the hoople and Mott the hoople. And then a subscriber um, and a viewer commented underneath the exact video that we're doing today. So it's like, wow, great. You know, you know, we, uh, you know, I don't know how you figured it out. Um, yeah, I don't know how many different times we hinted at it, but you know, but we are doing, um, all the young dudes. Uh, this is a live video from 1973, 73, uh, right. and it's from Monte Hoople. And I don't know anything else <laughs> past that. Well, you know, as we were saying in the, um, the video in, the, in the video yesterday, yeah. um, what was it? Now I'm here. I'm sorry. Yep, now I'm here. I'm here. And, um, and the queen had, the queen had, uh, been there quote unquote support group. Mm -hmm. There were their warm up act. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back in 1974. Okay. Cause the hoople was, they were, um, not the hoople was known at that point. They were kind of toward the last couple of years of their, um, of what their fame was, of what okay. their time frame was, okay, and um, and so when um, you know Queen was trying to take off in America, they mm -hmm. ended up being the warm up group for Matahupo. Yeah, they now, were piggybacking yeah. off of Matahupo. <laughs> pretty, pretty much is what it was. Now the interesting part, and you know, forgive me if I repeat this because this is, you know, I think I may have done this on. The Queen video that we, mm -hmm. that we did, but uh, what was what was funny was when I was doing um, when I was doing the the background stuff mm -hmm. on it, and then we did the, then we did the video, and all of a sudden one of the, one of the subscribers goes ahead and does. She gave me ev everything, 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 okay, on it. everything on there, okay. Uh, basically all the stuff that I had said plus a little bit more right the um, and which which basically was that that Mata Hoople was the big deal back in 71 72 time frame mm -hmm. um, they just weren't going anywhere they were big and they, they were okay sort of kind of big mm -hmm. in Britain but they really just weren't going anywhere and the uh, bass player for Mata Hoople. They were they were about to break up is mm -hmm. what they were doing. And he was out looking for jobs and ended up um talking with somebody who was um with um the band for with David Bowie. Mm -hmm. At that point David Bowie was doing a um an album called um Ziggy Stardust and this and the Spiders from Mars. Okay. Okay. Um and um I have that, by the way. Just I have a, that record. To, to, I have that record. I have that record. I have that. <laughs> I have that. And I also have Mott the Hoople. <laughs> you know, which was... It's which, all the way in the back of the storage unit supporting which, which, uh, which like was 90 funny. other boxes, <laughs> but uh, it would take four but hours to I, but I have them. dig out. But it was a young David Bowie, and he was, you know, at that point, he was really into this concept. Mm. Music is what he was trying to do. And um, the song that we're playing today, All the Young Dudes... Um, actually was supposed to be on the Ziggy Stardust album. Album. Okay. Now, Bowie was a fan of these guys, mm -hmm. and he didn't want to see them break up. So he goes ahead and he gives them this song. They're like, they're like, what the heck is this? He's giving this to us, mm -hmm. you know? And um, and so um, they get the song, mm -hmm. um, and all of a sudden. How's the ego say it? They became popular became again. Popular. Uh, okay. They became popular. And, um, but they didn't have a recording. Um, they had just nixed their deals with mm -hmm. whoever they're, because they thought they were breaking up. So they right. dixed, nixed the record. Nixed their, yeah. The, the record uh, company. So Bowie actually produced this thing for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, which I thought was pretty cool. So now all of a sudden they're popular. Mm -hmm. They come to the States. They do a United States tour. And in 73, where this was from, mm -hmm. they they had this little known group who was trying to make it big in the U.S. by the name of, of Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Okay. 
And um, so Aerosmith was the opening act for them in 73. So they get to, you know, they go and they do that. You know, they get through that tour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now Aerosmith is huge. is huge, so they're out on their own. So all of a sudden in 74, they get this little known group called Queen, Queen. Yep. in the U.S. Yep. Okay. So that's where... So so you know they tour with they tour with Queen, or actually Queen tours with, with them, them. <laughs> okay, through the U.S. What ends up happening at that point, which I thought was which I thought was pretty cool, um, was that Queen writes um, Killer, Kill, Queen. Killer Queen Killer Queen Killer Queen, they take off, mm -hmm. okay. A couple of months afterwards, the lead singer from Hot the Hoople says. I'm done and calls it quits and the band falls in the band falls. Now I think two consecutive think years that, of your warm up groups taking off, taking backing off of right. you guys. But they were at the end of yeah. they because they had actually done this like I mean they got this song back in seventy one or seventy two and you know, groups don't last all that long. Right. Typically. The typical group. The Beatles only okay. toured for four years. It was like they were the Beatles were only together for like six years and that was and everybody and look with their I mean, not, don't quote me on that. But that's but that's, something like that though. But that's what's going on. Right, that's it's that, the point behind that's it. what's going on with this. Mm -hmm. But all those little things in regard to in regard to the Bowie influence mm -hmm. with Queen, mm -hmm. okay, which I think you know, what was it under pressure, okay, right, where where Bowie was in on that. Um, you have, uh, but if it hadn't been, let's see, how how did she put it? Um, interesting to think what might have happened for Queen in America if not for David Bowie's song in that particular tour. And then she went on to say, you might enjoy reacting to all the young dudes. We were planning is, on doing this anyway. We were planning on doing it anyway. So it was all, it was just all perfect. It was just perfect, perfect timing. timing. Yeah. So this is actually from, again, this is actually from 73. Right. Okay. So this would have been when they had uh, Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Okay. This looks like uh, the the small stage looks that like they're on in here. You know, looks like you know, an appearance on Saturday Night Live or what they had at that time, which was called the Midnight Special. Mm -hmm. And on every Saturday night at midnight came these groups. It was it was pretty it was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So um so anyway, um go ahead and um go ahead and play it and this is Mata Hoople and all the young dudes. Alright, let's get started with this guys. It's nice to be back in Los Angeles. Oh, there you mean that. Los Angeles. Um, okay. Actually, we don't mean it at all. It's a drag to be back in Los Angeles. So. <laughs> but one must go to these places in the course of one's business. <coughs> no, it's all right. Uh, we'd like to do a number for you. Uh, call all the young dudes.
Did that not that if you if you're familiar with Bowie stuff, which I'm not from back from back then, which I'm which I'm not unfortunately. Um, it sounds like David Bowie. Okay. <laughs> it really, okay. It really, I, it really does. Um, I don't, I don't yeah, know. yeah. From back from back at that point, I mean they did. I mean Bowie had all kinds of, you know, had all kinds of um, hits going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. And I'll tell you, if you ever, I mean, you see him now, you, you know, um, you see him like in, in the uh, Queen video, mm -hmm. okay? Back then, this guy, he's always been thin, okay. but this guy was thin as thin could be. Was thin as wearing, a rail was goatee. Wearing, <laughs> no, was wearing the same kind of, well, I don't know what kind of material it is, but like like the same kind of stuff that Freddie would wear. Okay. Okay. The the skin tight, the skin tight deal, but his he had his face painted up. Mm -hmm. His hair was all was all you, you know. I mean, it, he was one of the every everybody thought number one. Uh, well, every everybody thought you know this guy is weird. Right. This guy is just weird. Now. It's like where Kiss was at, you know, and everything. Well, that was skin, ten years later. Right, right. But I'm just saying, with skin tight makeup okay. and but when, but when Kiss came, but when Kiss came out, it probably okay, used them. Everybody as inspiration. was well. When Kiss came out, everybody was like, um, uh, you know, yeah, they're dressed up weird. But everybody and with the makeup and all that kind of stuff. Um, Alice Cooper, mm -hmm. I don't, uh, you know, was you know this, you know, black makeup and and stuff. I mean, you know, David Bowie was pro probably ten years before his time. Yeah. Okay, doing doing the stuff that he was doing, mm -hmm. but the music and the lyrics and you yeah. know the stuff that he was doing was, um, you know, that's what caught on the the um, the theatrical part, mm -hmm. the um, artistic. Part the the makeup part yeah. the costume part, yeah. I mean, you know that paved the way. I mean, you had Elton John come out in wearing his yeah. flamboyant stuff and Kiss doing their stuff mm -hmm. and and but everybody else. If you go back to around the time David Bowie was, nobody else was doing right. This stuff. Bowie was like and the yeah, original. Yeah, you thought like, yeah. Eh, this guy's kind of this guy's kind of weird. But you li but you listen to his stuff and. And I can just hear him singing this on that particular album if he had put it out on that album. Um, it, it was total Bowie all the, all the way through to me anyway. So, um, any, but, anyway. But, but anyway, that was, um, you, you know, I just thought it was neat that, again, the song itself had the, had the Queen connection mm -hmm. to Now I'm Here with Brian putting in the line here we are what down in the city with the hoople or, with the hoople, or, or something you know, like that how however however yeah. it was okay and um you know so so the tie-in was perfect the, the tie-in was perfect and then as soon as and then then as soon as uh i don't know if it's layla or lala lala sparkles okay is the name is here if you go under i got it it's Lala Sparkles. Lala Sparkles. Yeah. Okay. Um, give a shout out to Lala. Because <laughs> um, you caught on to those cause, hints. Because you caught on. You're yeah. the only one that really caught on to those hints. So. Um, and you named the exact dead song that we were that we were planning on doing. So uh, you know, congrats and, to you. And, and you to you. And you gave me all the research. So, <laughs> so I appreciate it. So um, so anyway, all of that all of that being said, you know. It brought back memories for me, that's for sure. <laughs> so, all right. hey, hey, I'm good. All right. It's all yours. My little spiel here yep. at the end. All right, guys, don't forget to check out that Teespring link that's down in the description below. Um, I have a new recording going up somewhere uh, that has the <clears throat> new, or I shouldn't say new, stuff on there because that stuff's been on there for a while. But it's a new recording of updated stuff or whatnot because I had an old video playing. Um, of that stuff, but we've got hoodies, long sleeve t-shirts, regular t-shirts, breast cancer awareness t-shirts, uh, tank tops, mugs, phone cases, 
Um, and those all have the TVP logo on them. And if you want to get that logo now, I highly recommend getting that now because those may not be up for very much longer. I'm working with um, some people to get some new logos going and that are going to be better and cooler logos than the original TBP logo. So if you want, um, if you want any new, or if you want those logos, make sure you get them while you can, because they may not be there for much longer. What, what could be a piece of base player history. Exactly. Yeah. Also, if you want any uh, discount codes to help make you know the expenses a little bit more affordable, make sure you come out into our live streams as well, um, where we give out discount codes pretty 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 regularly on, on live mm -hmm. streams um, for the people who tune out for that because it is a smaller you know um, amount of people that end up coming out so if you want a um, teespring discount code make sure you tune into our live streams uh, also uh, if you'd like to become a patreon member first of all if you don't know what patreon is it's a way that you um, can step up if you want to become like one of the VIP members of the channel. Uh, Patreon is you put forth a monthly contribution, um, and in return you get a bunch, you get perks back from us. Um, and so perks can range from description mentions to shout outs to Teespring codes to um, just exclusive, and just to exclusive, exclusive videos on videos Patreon, and footage, yeah. exactly, uh, and unseen videos that are only on Patreon that are not on YouTube. Um, if you would like any of that, you know, and if you if you want more information on that, my email is in the description below. Feel free to email me. Uh, so is the Patreon link. I also get to thank the following patrons who have helped pledge to make this video mm -hmm. possible. That'd be Paula Johnson, Patricia Miller, Teresa Anderson, Hot Space, Ann Petro, Karen Barone, Sandy Thomas, Courtney Truax, and Cindy Rice. If you would like to get your name added to that list or any of the other perks that I mentioned, again, that Patreon link down is down in the description below. Yep. Also, you all made the month of January incredible for us with close to 135 new subscribers just in the month of January, give, or, give or take. Right. Um, we are still aiming towards that thousand goal. Uh, and once we will, remember, we will open up that PO box so that you guys can send us things if you would like. Um, we're not expecting anything. It's totally up to you if you would like to send us anything, whether that be a drawing, um, letters, uh, CDs, whatever it may be. Uh, just generalized fan mail, you know. Uh, you know, we're, we want to be able to communicate and interact with you guys more. And if we like your stuff enough, we may <laughs> include it out on a video and give a personalized video response back to you guys. So make sure if you are new that you hit that subscribe button. It's free and it only takes two clicks. One for the subscribe and one for that notification bell so that you get notified whenever a new video drops. We go live every Friday or, you know, just like post something interesting on there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, you good? I'm good. <clears throat> you good? So, so am I. We've had a, uh, we've we, had, had, we had a great, hey, we had a great night last night mm -hmm. on, um, on the live stream, on, on the live stream, fantastic live stream last yeah. night. And, um, and, you know, now we get to, now we get to do this, uh, mm -hmm. today and, uh, no, we're, hey, I'm, I'm pumped. All right. So, so if good. you all enjoyed this video, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.